this is GameGar, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon by Greenheart Games. This game so far is really awesome. I really love playing this game um, because, again, I have so much interest in being a game developer and just game developing, game development in general. That this game is just so cool, and it's like I don't know. I think it's really fun to to watch too. So I think let's just uh, sit back, plug in, and get right in. Alright, so last time we made only three games. Uh, it was our first time, uh, you know, making games. So, and I think we did really well. Uh, industry news. Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. Okay, so that's probably supposed to be the NES for those of you who are familiar with Nintendo, which is probably everybody. Uh, the console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. I, I love it. This is awesome. This is so cool. Okay, so um, I want to buy an Nintendo. I don't actually know how to buy. Well, I guess it's not that we buy it. I think we could just make games for it eventually. Uh, so let's see. Uh, third game did really well. We sold 10,000 units. Monthly cost minus 8,000 and sales 7.8. So actually we didn't break even, but it's... I think that's what it's saying. We didn't break even, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, we have 105k cash to work with. So let's go ahead and develop something new. Uh, game number four, pick topic. Uh, what should we do this time? Let's try a vocabulary game. We didn't try one of these before. Genre, vocabulary. I suppose that would be a strategy game. It could be a simulation, I'm not sure. And platform, let's see. Let's continue using the G64 at this point in time. I don't know if it's going to change, but... The G64 has a higher market share and it seems to be more popular, so we're going to go ahead and go with that. Um, and what should we call this game? What was it? A puzzle game? Let's call it... I don't know, Sudoku or something like that. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. This is going to cost us 30k. We can add a 2D graphics for 10k. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, what's a puzzle game if you can't see what you're doing, right? So stage one development, uh, engine, gameplay, stories, quest. Well, considering that it's a vocabulary game, I don't feel like a story or a quest is important at all. So we're going to have to focus only on gameplay and engine. Even engine, I'm not sure why that would be very important, but, well, it depends. The engine is all the uh, arithmetic and all the, you know, mathematical equations and things going on. So it, it can be important as well for this type of game. Thank you to Genji from Patrick and Daniel Klug, Greenheart Games. Hi Genji, we are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Okay, that's very nice of them. Game Dev is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. Okay. And seriously, Rock, thank you so much. Okay, so then there's our website if you want to go there and check out any other games that they have. Okay, so development stage two. Game number four, Sudoku. Uh, dialogues. I mean, there's no dialogue. It's a vocabulary game. I mean, unless you're playing with someone else. Level design, artificial intelligence. I guess if you're up against a computer, this is hard. I, I don't really know what's important here. Level design. Whew. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I have to think about that. Um, so we're getting... We only have two bugs so far, so that's good for us. Stage 3, world design. Again, I don't think it matters. Graphics is important. I suppose we can add in sound then instead. World design doesn't seem important for a vocabulary strategy game. I might be completely wrong. I and mean, we're going to find out very quickly here as soon as this game comes out. Uh, and we see that sales are probably like zero. So we have three bugs, so let's wait for those. Oh, number three is off the market. We sold 14,000 units and generated 99,000 in sales. And think about it, we're supposedly 35 years in the past, so $99,000 in sales would be phenomenal, I would say, especially for someone who's just working out of their garage and uh, apparently has a DeLorean. I don't know, hiding under the cloth there. Okay, so zero bugs, let's finish that. Experience gain. Uh, we have... Okay, let's just... Can we make this faster? Look at that, leveled up everywhere. Alright, I think we should release this game. <coughs> I think we should release it because it's... it's uh, We got so many levels and I don't think there's anything wrong with it so far. Uh, the first reviews have come in. Let's check it out. Ooh, don't give me something too low. Five? Alright, fun at stages. That's good. 
You know, it'd be really funny if we got like tens in the beginning. Four. Shouldn't forget about world design. Okay, so I guess world design is more important than I expected. They shouldn't forget about level design. World design, level design. Okay, let's keep those things in mind. And waste of time. Okay, that was abysmal. Okay, apparently vocabulary games are not my strong suit. I, I don't think we're going to sell many units then of that because of the low ratings. I mean, why would you want to play a game if it's getting rated low? So, Today the new game platform TS by Nivento has been released. Does that mean we have it or do we have to buy it? Uh, let's see. Find contract work. We could try that out. Ah, let's do a game report. Number four. Uh, so what do we do? We just select it. Select. And... Okay, he's generating that. And here's where we can get some tips, I guess, for future reference. But frankly, I've already forgotten what they said. Level design and... What was it? Uh, vocabulary and strategy is a great combination. Cool, so that was a good choice. Level design seems to be important, so we have to really focus on level design. And strategy goes well with, yeah, the G64. So that's good. Alrighty, let's develop a new game. We have 126k. Uh, what should we do this time? And we, we can add things in here later. I want to do... Oh, we haven't done a rhythm game. Okay, let's try this out. I'm going to just try out all the new things here. Rhythm game. That would be a simulation, I suppose. Platform. Oh, cool. So we could try out the new... Ooh, try out the new TES of the rhythm game. That sounds pretty cool. So let's try this out. Do you want to pay 80000 to acquire a license? I don't know if I can. Should we do it? Should we just do it anyway? It's new. Yeah, let's just, let's just do it. I don't care. As long as we have enough money to like pay for this uh, game that we're making. 40k. So we already have 40k. We don't have enough money for 2D graphics, so that's not good. Can we buy it anyway? Ah, that makes it 40k. Awesome. Start development. Okay, so the, hopefully this brings in some money because look at our <laughs> look at our money. We have 6.5. Okay, we went up to 10, but still. Uh, okay, so this is a rhythm simulation game. So again, stories and quests aren't important. Engine and gameplay is definitely important. In my opinion, I don't know if I'm right, but we'll see. Okay, we're getting bugs. Lots of bugs. Oh, come on, Ninvento. Okay, and rhythm simulation. Dialogues are not important. Level design is definitely important. Artificial intelligence would be the game itself, I guess, playing against us. I, I feel like that could be important. Honestly, level design should be like 100. Uh, yeah, so let's actually, yeah, let's focus more on level design. Yeah, I think that might be okay. I mean, it's not like we completely didn't do anything with AI. Sudoku is now off the market. Uh, only sold 10,000 copies, but 75,000 in sales, that's nothing to laugh at, right? We made profit. I mean, in my mind, if you're making profit, I'm working by myself, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, oh, I didn't notice this thing about sound here. Oh, I didn't notice that before, but anyway, I, I should leave that on. Graphics are definitely important. Sound is 100% important. Actually, it might even be slightly more important than graphics. World design. Um... I mean, is there a world rhythm simulation? I don't really consider that world design. Let's keep it like this. And I don't know exactly what the game itself is wanting from me, so I have to kind of figure out what it's you know looking for. So let's get rid of some of these bugs. Come on, two more. There you go. Let's finish that out. Okay, so we ooh new records on both sides. Look at that. Okay, let's check everything else out. Plus, 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 plus. All these pluses. And that's that's good. I'm happy with that. Let's release it. I'm really eager and like anxious to know the reviews that we're going to get for this game. Ooh, keep your fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give us something high. Yes! Yes! We got a seven. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Eight! Eight! Rhythm and simulation is a great combination. Yeah, I thought so. And a six. I can definitely say six is good. What do we get for last? Another six. Thank you. Thank you, all games. Thank you, Game Hero, for not giving me something lower than that. Informed Gamer, you rock. So, 7866. That is, I think, our best so far. That is That is so cool. Okay, so, I think we should generate a game report for that while that is kind of, you know, so while we're seeing sales. We were, if you just noticed, we were minus 3.3k in the, in the hole. But look how much money we're generating from this already. 92, 100, 119,000, I mean the money's just flying up. 
Okay, rhythm and simulation is great. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. I think gameplay, did we... I think we did gameplay. So I don't feel like that was a bad report. I mean, it's it's not a, ever bad, it's just a, an analysis of what we did. Look at how well that is selling. That is so awesome. Okay, we're, and it's ranked 66. I can't complain. I cannot complain about that. Alright, what else can we do? Should we do contract work? I don't know. Uh, we're, our balance isn't low, so I think for now we should um, just work on our own stuff until we get a little bit low in money. Um, and with these contracts, you have to hit a deadline, so we have to be careful. I'm going to skip. I'm not going to do this yet, because for now, I think we're... For self-sufficient research what is this oh yeah 50 points custom game engine yeah I mean why not let's start that up we got so many points like actually oh do we have to wait for that to finish okay so we're gonna wait for him to finish his research oh okay game number five is now off the market it sold 28 that is like Two, how many times more than the previous game? 198,000 in sales. And again, think about like when Nintendo came out. That was like 1980. Oh no, you're gonna be angry at me. I don't remember the, the dates. Like 1988 or something. 89 was it? I don't remember. Um, anyway, oh, I remember when I first got my Nintendo. It was just Mario all day, baby. It was never, never ending. I don't know if I ever actually. Yeah, I definitely beat the game because you know you. I knew. I figured out the. I mean, everybody did. You figure out those secrets, you know, where you jump to the top. You figure those out quite quite early, so you can skip ahead. The recently released TES Home Console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers has exceeded expectations by far. So this is where I guess knowing your game history could, like, help you out in this game. So if there's, like, a console that didn't do well, you might want to steer away from those. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the TES, and playing with the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Yep. I would def definitely agree because two buttons versus how many buttons are on a keyboard like 50 50 ish I don't know yeah I definitely would say using a controller is more fun you have successfully researched custom game engine I don't know what it means but sounds good to me to get started close this message I mean I know what a game engine is and I know about like making them but I don't know what it means in this game ah so we can do game tutorials and mono sound all right so we can keep researching I think um I like researching. I think we should try for a new topic. What should we add in here? Ooh, spy, mystery, cyberpunk, game dev. Oh, game dev? I definitely want to do that, but I'm going to do it later. Cyberpunk sounds awesome. Uh, game tutorials, 15 rep and 40k. So we got to pay money for those. So we're going to wait for those. So let's do research for that. Our game history. We have five games. So look at that. 28,000. That one only sold 10k. 14k. 6k. 14k. So actually our first game surprisingly did really well. Look at the income and the profit and just everything. The overall score wasn't bad either. Average of 5.5. I mean that's that's nothing to scoff at. This one however was a 4.25 and didn't have much This this was actually our worst one, I guess. Uh 3 yeah, average score 5.25 and average score 4. So we're kind of like hit every every odd game or every even game is like a, a miss for us. Okay, so, um, he's still researching. He's almost finished. Uh, honestly, you know what I was thinking is, um, I know you can upgrade where you work in this game, but I think the idea of just working by yourself and, like, making, like, making a living and, like, I don't know, living successfully is, like, much more fun, but anyway, for the sake of the game, we're gonna upgrade everything to the sky. The sky's the limit, right? Alright, so, let's do one more. Um, oh, cut. So create custom game engine. What does that do? Um, ooh, it's a little bit expensive. So we're gonna we'll do this later. I don't know actually know why I invested in that because that would definitely take all of our money. So we're gonna have to deal with that later. That seems really cool though because it's it's really I don't know more it makes things more complicated but in a, in a good way. All right, Bill. Let, let, let's let's just try out a cyberpunk game genre though. I guess that would be either action or adventure. What do you think? Action? Cyberpunk. Action. Yeah, I'm going to go with action. Platform. Um, oh, strategy plus plus plus. We didn't do strategy games, so... Although I think we should do more. 
Uh, let's go ahead with the TS again. And yeah, we're definitely gonna go with 2D graphics. I think we only did text base once. Okay, so so far so good. So this is what was this? What did we choose? Action. So engine, gameplay, story, quest, action game. Okay, let's. Honestly, these all should be even in my mind. Quest, not quest per se. Story, the storyline is a little bit important, but gameplay and the engine are definitely most important in my mind. Um, let's see. Research is going up, that's good. Uh, for this one, action game, I think dialogues actually are important. Uh, level design is definitely, I think level design is like important in every, every game. Uh, dialogues, action game, I mean, it depends. If it's a game where you're just kind of, just flying around killing everything, like, you don't need dialogue per se. Uh, artificial intelligence definitely matters because you have to be up against the, you know, the, the computer, so to speak. So that's a little bit iffy. I feel like that could be fine in thirds. Um, let's see, world design definitely matters. Graphics definitely matter and sound definitely matter. <laughs> I feel like sound doesn't matter that much, actually. Um, graphics definitely, world design. Is world design more important than graphics though? Action game, I mean, when you're playing an action game, you just wanna like, you know, you wanna see, you wanna see like a lot of um, like fan fancy like graphics and things so like I don't know like 3d models and whatnot uh, although this is the NES so uh, that doesn't really matter so much considering it's only 8-bit like it's <laughs> not much going on uh, recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games okay so I'll keep that in mind as you saw before with the G64 um, what was it? Strategy games. It's it's better for strategy games. So, some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater to more mature age groups. Uh, so does that mean we're going to do like, I don't know, kids games and like mature like XXX games or gambling? I guess. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups. Yeah, we'll do that later. New research available. Target audience. Okay, so that's that was leading up to the target audience thing. Um, uh, so yep. Oh, engine reminder. Don't forget creating custom engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu. But yeah, again, that's too expensive for us at the moment. So let's finish this game off. Okay, we got a lot of experience. We got new records too. So that means we did something right, I think. Okay, so nothing really to say or see here. Um, what I'm really eager for, yes, okay, here's the game review, here it comes, give me some tens, give me some tens. Eight, love it, I got it, I love it, it's perfect, I'll take it, another eight, eights all the way, very enjoyable. Hey, 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 I see this one looks like it wants to be low. Cyberpunk in action is a great combination, thank you. Look at this score, look at this score, look at it, eight, eight, seven, seven, so our average score is 7.5, oh, that is so cool, that is so cool. I, I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I am. I hope you're excited too. Um, yeah, industry news. Following the massive success of the TS console, there are new are now rumors circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their on their own. Vina, what's that supposed to be mocking? Perhaps it's a company that I wasn't I'm not really familiar with. It might be from the eighties and nineties. Japanese company. Nihon no kaisha desu ne. Uh, so, yes, look at that, units 14,000. It's going uppity uppity. We have 180, okay, I think next time we can afford to do the game engine. I'm going to try that out. Look at that. Look how much money we're making. Um, okay, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. We are rolling in the dough. Um, we're, next time we're going to check out making our own game engine. This time we had so much success with our... Um, games. I mean, look at this. The, pre the the most recent game that we've made, which isn't finished sailing yet, by the way, had an average score of 7.5. We've gained tons of fans. I mean, the, we're just doing so well. 